Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall a window regulator in this 1998 VW Beetle. Tools you'll need are a flat blade screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, T25 and T30 Torx bits with a ratchet driver, a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet or a wrench, and a drill with a quarter inch or larger drill bit. And you'll also need some painter's tape. Okay, first you're going to pull. You may have to use a screwdriver. This is a household putty knife. But you need to pull this um, panel out okay, and off. And you need to pull it straight out. Mine actually came off pretty easy. There's actually three clips here. It looks like somebody um, they didn't pull straight and the clips all broke off. Then there's two Phillips screws behind here. Underneath, you're going to find three T20 screws. Once you get those off, use a door panel clip tool or a putty knife, and you want to go in behind and pry out on your door panel. Mine's actually been apart so many times that it just kind of comes apart easily. Uh, then you lift it up off of your ledge and lock. Okay, just because it wasn't too clear here, there are a series of clips or pins uh, that hold the door panel to the door around the perimeter. Uh, because my door had probably been apart many times, they weren't really holding in that well, so you will have to do a little more work um, to get your door panel uh, basically unclipped from the door. So you want to pull out on the door panel, and then once you have it free, then pull it up. Now in behind, depending on what uh, options you have, just disconnect everything. There's a connector here. Squeeze a couple tabs. Your cable for your door handle pulls out and then unhooks. Okay, and then there's just another. All these connections just have a little tab that presses and you can pull them out. Okay, and then down here pull these connectors off. Okay. And the panel comes off. Okay, there's plugs here and you pull those out. Okay, and right in behind you can see uh, there's some T30 screws. Okay, it probably should be a, you probably find a plug on here. Mine, it's missing on this vehicle. Um, now, my window just happens to be in the right uh, in the right position here. Uh, that's because my regulator and motor are working fine. Um, usually, when your regulator breaks, you hear the pop and the grinding noise, and then you're actually able to, to grab onto your window and move it up and down, anyways. Um, but I'm going to show you how to reposition this if you need to. What you'll want to do is remove these three T30 screws that hold the motor. And I'm just going to fast forward as I remove those three screws that hold the motor on. Okay, 
then I want to disconnect my uh, window motor. So you actually just pull up on, there's a little clip here, you pull up on it, and the whole connector comes off. And I can carefully pull my motor off. Okay, and these are held in by teeth, and you don't want to remove those. But now you can see, I can carefully take my window and move it up and down. Okay. I want to have it right there. Now you want to loosen the two T30 uh, screws. And I'll speed up as I loosen up those two. Then take your window. You might have to kind of shake it back and forth a little bit. Then pull it up into place. Use a little bit of painter's tape to hold it up. And again, a little fast forward as I put on some reinforcements. Now what you want to do is unplug your speaker, push in a couple tabs, pull it right up, and then pull out all these pins that hold the wiring harness to this panel. Okay, you can pull this plug out. You can push this back through. And then also pull this, actually you push this back down and through. Okay. And now remove the 10 millimeter bolts that hold this panel on. And again here we're going to use fast forward as we uh, remove those bolts. Use a screwdriver and pry around the panel. Mine comes off easy because it looks like it's been off before, but you may have to kind of pry out up here just to kind of get the panel loose. And then you can you have to bring it up and down. Okay. Like that. And then there's one more connector right back in here. There's a little tab on it. You just press on that tab, pull it down. is fine so I'm not gonna remove it and put another one back on but to remove it use a drill and pretty simply you drill out these rivets here it's four one two and then let's see here another one here and then one right down here okay you drill out those rivets and then the regulator comes off, you put a new regulator on, and you can just use some flat head uh, bolts because you can see that the bolts really don't interfere with the cable at all. Just use flat head bolts. Okay, put the bolts through this way, and then put nuts and washers on this side, and you can put your new regulator on. Okay, well, like I said, this one's functioning fine so I'm just gonna reinstall the panel back in but that's how you would do it. Okay, so to reinstall it's kind of a reverse of the procedure. Okay, you want to put your cable in first. Okay. Uh, put the 
walk up through. Bring your harness. Make sure it's not caught in the door here. Harness around. Put this through. In here and reconnect it. Okay, and there's actually a make sure that lock stays through. Okay, now bring your panel down. Get the regulator back in behind there. Okay. And then kind of bring it up into place to make sure the cables stay in behind. And what I do is just kind of reach in here. There's three things you want to do is you want to put this boot for the lock rod, push it up through. Place. Then this has a little clip on it right in behind. Put that into place. And then put the panel in. Okay, we can put this in place. and speed it up here for a second as I just start some of the bolts to hold the panel to the door panel. Okay, and if you wanted to, you can put your uh, motor on at any point. You could have actually put it on even before you put this together. That just ensures that uh, your regulator doesn't come out. Okay, kind of fast forward through this, um, reinstall the motor, use the three T30 screws, uh, reconnect it, make sure you pin all the wiring harnesses back uh, in their place on the door, then um, I'll put all the bolts back in for the perimeter of the uh, panel and tighten them up. And when you tighten them up, you want to get them nice and firm. You don't have to have them extremely tight or anything like that. down, go right into the tracks there, tighten those up nice and firm. Once those are tight, then your window should be right in place. Okay, for the last part, I'm just going to kind of speed through putting the uh, door panel back together. If you did want to see this in regular speed, just check out our other videos for the uh, Volkswagen Beetle uh, door panel installation. We hope this helps you out. 
brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.